are listening to or watching She is a Goal Setter with Wendy Shields. If you are a goal setter with a desire to learn from others, you are in the right place. This lake-loving, photo-taking, success-driven, business-owning mother and grandmother would love to walk you through the wins, the losses, the ups, and the downs. We will focus on the real things that will help you meet and achieve your goals while sharing and cheering on others who are with the quest to do the same. Let's get started. Wendy Shields with She's a Goal Setter and I'm here today with Elaine Bose Thompson, the owner of Cheers to You and Stepping Stone Realty. Um, Elaine, uh, thanks for letting us come out today. Um, so I'm going to start in my standard questions for you. Um, what is your personal definition of success? Somebody who can actually recognize when they make a mistake and be able to identify it and move to another angle to be able to adjust and keep on going and keep successful. You have to always be, to be successful, you have to be able to change and go with change quickly. If uh, the market changes, you gotta be able to adapt. If somebody in your company changes, you gotta be able to adapt that situation. Um, just really being able to identify what's going on and being able to move with it. That's been huge this year. I mean, people calling it pivoting, but it's all the same. It's, yeah, everybody's making so many changes with the virus, but also, like you said, staff and all those other things, that's true. Um, what are your three favorite apps that you use? My three favorite apps would be, number one would be Realtor.com. Um, Realtor.com actually gives you the placement of all the houses, what locations you're looking for, um, where you want to be, what price range you want to be at. It also identifies what the different functions of the house are, all the different pivot things that you're looking for. Um, basically, your goal setting list, it can identify them quickly. Mm -hmm. yes. um, so that's realtor.com. Then you have Matrix, which is my personal, which allows me to go online, grab up um, my listings, um, it has to do with the uh, Board of Realtors, and I can jump on there, get right to my work, and move on that quickly and put in all my new listings, look up my old listings, be able to switch them out. That's what that app's for. And then I'm going to say probably um, Showtime because that is a universal um, app that all the realtors use to be able to go on, be able to... Um, put in immediately if you want to do a showing for somebody's property or somebody wants to show your properties You can go right on immediately and that's that's a lot better than it used to be back in the olden days <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so you get a response back from that person on the that app So okay, does sense. that send you a notice then about like when your houses are going to be sold, um, shown or something? To yes, you? okay. Yes, okay. it'll actually um, tell you exactly what day what time they want to show it actually shows them what times you have other appointments okay. so that that way they know to work around those. Oh, very nice. And so it's basically first come, first serve, mm -hmm. and so then they'll put in the request and it'll give you back, if it's accepted, it'll give you back what date, what time is okayed and confirmed, and then it'll actually give you directions. And does it go directly to your client and ask them, or does it, does it tell you to ask them? Or? No, it goes to the other realtor. Oh, okay. Whoever the realtor is that has the But I mean, like, if, if I want to show a house you have and it's occupied, does it notify the seller, like, ask them, is it okay to do this showing, or do you go no. to you and then you contact them? It goes to me and then I contact okay. them. Okay, okay. But I will respond. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, I'm sure you do. I, I just was learning. I it's, That's new systems new to me. Um, so with so many different things going on with your schedule, do you use a scheduler? How do you keep track of your schedule? And you no, have multiple businesses. I do not. Um, my All my businesses are just surging. So when I, I have to be so flexible and I am moment to moment. So if somebody calls me right now, they want to get in to see a house, I don't replan. So, like, if, if they want to get in now, right this moment, I'll put in the show time. I want to go now, and if the house is available, and if it has no people in it, 
yep, it'll let me surge right over and oh, I can wow. take them right on the spot. Um, if somebody, if a group of 30 people come into my restaurant right now, I have that flexibility. If I don't, if somebody can call ahead and pre-plan with me, which I welcome, mm -hmm. if so, then I will go ahead and I will keep it here because okay. I've actually always been able to have a very accurate mental calendar. However, many people do not. For those people, I suggest they write it down. <laughs> Good, yeah, yeah. Yes, I've always been a writer down. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was your biggest challenge with starting your restaurant business? Banks. Banks? Yeah. Banks. Lenders. That was the number one. Um, many of the banks throughout, um, we went to several, I mean like we went to several banks and many of the banks had the opinions that you could not have a restaurant of this stature in a town this small and think that it was going to survive. Okay. Um, and so they ratioed the amount of people per what they felt like it would take for us to run mm -hmm. and they knocked us down time right. after time after time after time. Um, believe it or not, we actually came across a bank that actually judged us not only on the amount of people in our community, but they based it on what our previous work ethic and Your they accomplishments. also accomplishments. Our accomplishments. Um, income did come into the mm -hmm. picture, um, so that was part of it, but that was not the only part of it. It literally was based upon um, our work ethic, um, our previous work record, and our personalities and whether they felt like we could actually draw the business in. Wow. Well, that's cool. Yeah. That, Love that that's, bank. That's not usually a check sheet they have. <laughs> well, and, and you want to know what's really funny? That bank, which, oh my God, I love this bank. And if anybody needs to know a bank, call me. Okay. I'll let you know. You're going to give your contact information. I'll give you your contact. They were wonderful. And they really did do their homework on us. Mm -hmm. But um, they literally arrived here at the property and they said, tell us about your dream. Oh, that's cool. They said, tell us about your dream. That's awesome. And I literally walked them through step by step, told them my goals, what I pictured, my vision, mm -hmm. and they really thought that, you know, mm -hmm. that was an option. So anyways, when they called me to inform me they were going to give us the loan, mm -hmm. they actually said, Elaine, I want you to know we are going to give you the loan. However, we think it's important that you know it's because of your personality. Really? That, that, that is, is a true story. I, I promise that is actually a true story. That's really good. So I've never had a thing that happened to me on a loan ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love this bank. Okay. Yeah. I, I may have to find out the name <laughs> <laughs> of the bank. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> um, what would you say is your biggest challenge to currently running two businesses? Um. It's, it's really not a challenge. When you have such a love for both of them, mm -hmm. they're your babies. Yes. They're, it's like being able to take care of two children. Yeah. Each one has its different needs, but you love them so much that you cater to each one of them's needs and make sure they're both fulfilled. Absolutely. That's great. Um, yeah. Do you ever lose consistency? Do you ever like feel like, okay, I'm overwhelmed, and, and how do you overcome that? When I start feeling that way, and there has been times where I did feel that way, um, I literally step back, I take a breath, and I say, okay, today is today. You can only do X amount of things at one time. What is the most major? What is the second most major? And I actually put everything in perspective, and then I focus on each thing, one thing at a time, and by the next day, I'll have it accomplished. Very good. That's good. I mean, I do, you know me, all my formula, you know me, all my formulas, all my planning stuff, but basically it comes down to that kind of idea right there. I do that and I just put it on the schedule. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Um, 
what would you say is an average work day for you, hours-wise? Oh, dear God. Um, 5 a.m. in the morning. I'll get up. I'll start working on my real estate. Um, I'll start doing um, right on the computer right away. And I'll focus on that. And I'll do my research for houses, see if there is anything came open new that night. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start looking to see if there's... Um, Anything that's coming up and for sale by owners, things that I would like to approach people mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, I look at the market where everything's going. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll get up and I will usually run into the restaurant and I will see what needs done that day, whether we've got catering that day because our, our restaurant caters a lot. Oh, okay. um, and we cater all over. Okay. Um, the state of Ohio. So we do weddings, we do, you know, banquets, business banquets, we do all those kinds of things. And um, so we try to make sure that we've always got everything going and I'll go in, look at our list for that and see once where we're supposed to be with that, see how many, uh, if we have any um, big groups of people coming in for the day and make sure we're covered from that. And then I'll jump back on my computer and I'll deal with that. And and uh, do all of our showings, yeah. So, good. Um, is there anything you would do differently if you had it to do over again? Unfortunately, I'm not that smart. <laughs> I would do it again. Yes. <laughs> I would do That's it good. again. No, I, I love, I love what I do. Absolutely. I, I, hundred percent love what I do. I love my workers. Mm -hmm. I love my clients. I love our guests that come to the restaurant. Um, just like, you know, Saturday night, we had a wedding that we catered in Galleon, Ohio. I love those people. We actually became like part of their wedding. You know, we, we were part of their lives and, and it was so important to them, to them. And it was as important to me because I wanted their day to be incredible and so we just kind of make ourselves a part of that and, and really unify with them and, and uh, at the end of the day while we've really knocked ourselves out and um, you know did so much it, it, it's just it's gratifying it's it's good to know that you made somebody's day better and just like um, we we actually cater for uh, several of the factories, and um, we will do many many factories. And and no one we're taking all this food to say you did a good job. You know the the people the heads of the factories hire us to actually reward yes. their workers. Yes. And so we know that this is their rewards, and so we work really super hard to make sure they feel like, oh my God, look at what they got us, you know, yeah. and it's really nice. And so then you see the workers light up. Yeah. So it's just, That's and cool. um, here people will get married. Um, they'll, you know, they have their parties here. It's just, I love what I do. That is awesome. I love what I do. So do you see both businesses always being part of your life? Yeah. That's right. yeah. yeah that's awesome. I do. That's I love awesome. my I love everything about it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that's really all we have today. So I just want to thank you for for be having us here. We okay. appreciate it. Well, thank I you. appreciate okay. it. Okay, thank you. Bye. We're done? Seriously? All that work and we're done? I guess we'll see you next week. Oh yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.